The biggest, uh, the biggest reason, well, you know, there's actually many reasons why we came to Queensland, Australia for, to fo shoot the film, is um, uh, the location was fantastic and matched very much to what we were looking for, which kind of had a feel for California. Uh, the stage space was a big issue for us. I mean, the tank was something we had nowhere else in the world that we were able to use. So the, the tank that's down in Oxenford in Queensland was really something that was, that was key to us to making the film here. And then obviously the, the incentives. I mean, so many films are driven by incentives. So the fact that Queensland was able to help us out with incentives made a big difference. And, uh, and obviously the government, the government of Australia as well helped us out. Australia, we, uh, when I came scouting, there was a film shooting here at the time, Unbroken, and I knew a number of people that were there. So it was helpful for me because I was able to talk to them directly while they were shooting. And they raved about it. As a matter of fact, I had pitched to one of the producers about the idea that we were looking at a couple of different places in the States. And he said to, to me, if, it, if I were you, I would come here and shoot it here. And so I took his advice. And You know, I have, I have to say, in honesty, the Queensland crew have been some of the best in the world I've worked with. They, we, we had one sequence that we had to do, which was an all-in-one shot that involved every department pulling together grip, electric camera, the special effects team, props, and set director. And the shot went off so well that it really proved to me that the team was working together and that they were really top notch. So the crew's been excellent for us. It's been really one of the best experiences I've had. Yeah. No, Screen Queens has been great. And I have to tell you, from everything from when we first got here and did a scout, yeah. they took us around and showed us, you know, a lot of different locations out and took us through the studios and made a lot of introductions for us. All the way up until last night, I had one somebody from Screen Queensland a look after the director's dog. So that was sort of like going, going the gamut of being very accommodating to us. I haven't had a lot of time, but no, people, uh, the crew and I know the crew. cast, uh, particularly cast that have had a number of days off, have loved it here in Queensland, Australia. They, uh, you know, it's a very relaxed lifestyle, particularly where we are. We're down in the in the Gold Coast, and uh, I know they find it very relaxed. I think they find it very similar from where we are back home as well, too, in a style. It's great restaurants, uh, you know, the weather's been terrific, the beaches are great, so it's really been a, a, a nice place to shoot. Dwayne Johnson, who's our lead actor, I know came off of a very difficult shoot where he was in Budapest and was very reluctant to go anywhere except in the United States, and we talked to him coming down here. I think the minute he landed here, he fell in love with it. I'm not sure he wanted to leave, actually, when we were done, because he was enjoying it so much here. Oh, very, no, yeah, it, it really, Queensland really surpassed all of our expectations on multiple levels, you know, like I say, the crew was great, the stage space has been terrific, and just the whole working environment, shooting here in Brisbane, the city's been very helpful in turning over streets to us, and uh, even some of the smaller towns we've shot in. We haven't had one single problem with the infrastructure of shooting in Queensland. Filming here in Australia and San Andreas has been great, and I would definitely recommend to other filmmakers to come here. There's top-notch crew, the facilities are great, there's equipment, uh, the studio setup is, is terrific. You know, we had the very specialized tank that we needed and is rare to find anywhere else in the world. Um, and the, the whole working environment is great. The living environment is great for people who are off on the weekends or cast at this time. And uh, uh, all of the film commissions have been really helpful. Uh, so I would definitely recommend for people to come here. You know, if the locations work, it's a, it's a great place to shoot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, there's always many factors in where you decide to shoot a film, but um, but if, it, if all the right lineup was, I would bring a movie back to Queensland in a minute. You know, it's been a great experience. And how has it been? Um, to shoot here in Queensland was a very easy decision. First of all, it's um, creatively is what you always have to start with, and it's just a great match. There's tons of different terrains and landscapes, and it really works for most kind of cities around the world, and that was perfect for us. Um, it's a great match for California, it can double for LA, it can double for San Francisco, and um, that was first and foremost. Secondly is we needed a giant outdoor tank, and uh, Village Rocho Studios has a great tank, and we needed that for one of the main sequences of the film, and um, timing. Timing was, was really important in terms of there was a, uh, a movie that was shooting here called Unbroken that Angelina Jolie did. She just finished that, so we got the kind of A-plus crew, and we rolled them right into our film, and. The crews here have been um, exceptional and it's just been a great experience all around. Well, choosing Australia was, I mean, we did look around all over the world and choosing Australia was, um, there were a lot of things that we considered. We had to consider location creatively. We had to consider crew base. We had to consider where the tank was. We had to consider rebates. There were a lot of things that we had to consider when we chose how to make this film and Australia checked all the boxes for those categories. I mean, it was, um, once we laid it all out, it was a pretty easy decision and and plus also just you could tell by sitting, you know, kind of our negotiations and discussions with Australia and the film commission was, they were very accommodating, clearly wanted to make it work. So it made it very easy to choose. 
The crews have really surprised me. I mean, I knew coming in that they would be good and they're proficient and have a lot of experience, but this movie is very technically challenging and we're asking a lot. And there were some things that I didn't think we'd pull off here. And uh, the crews really stepped up, particularly the special effects department. Those guys really achieved some amazing things. You know, we were prepared to use visual effects for backup if we couldn't pull it off with special effects. But Brian Cox and his team really made some amazing things happen all in camera. And, and that's something that was really important to Brad, our director, and myself. I think um, the crews here are very hard workers. They are very smart. And I think part of the difference is, is, is they're very passionate. They want to see us win. They want to see the movie great. And they also want us to go back to Los Angeles and back to America and really spread the word on um, how terrific it is to shoot here and how great the people are. Um, I have to say, in terms of, you know, if you had to balance in terms of good-hearted people and people that are, are genuine and sincere, plus people who work really hard and really smart and care, the Australian crews are really right up there, if not the best. Um, Village Roadshow Studios is great. I mean, it's really close to where I live, so that's helpful. Um, but more importantly, it's just um, the stages are world class. Um, we have every stage on, on the facility. Uh, everyone's really nice that works there and accommodating. And um, they're all very updated. Everything's really clean, which is important. And, you know, you want to provide a great working experience for, for your cast and crew. And I don't know, I have to tell you, you know, the stars of this movie really come to me often just saying what a great experience they're having on the stage and off in Queensland and on Village Rosa stages. It's been, um, it's been really successful. Well, the good news is, is living on, in Peppers there. It's like I'm very so close to the beach. I actually get to get on it every once in a while. The beach and coastline is amazing. It's exceptional. Um, I live in Los Angeles. I'm from Miami. I've been around some beautiful beaches and um, oceans, but I have to say the Gold Coast is very special. It's really clean. Well, when I, when I, get, when I do get back to Los Angeles, that will be the first question that uh, a lot of other producers will ask me, what was the experience like? Um, and I will be very honest and let them know that the experience was, was an A-plus from top to bottom. It really, everyone was so accommodating. We've asked a lot. You know, we, we've really stretched kind of what we wanted to achieve here. And um, again, it just, just it starts with the people and ends with the people, and uh, that's, that's number one. But again, the facilities are great. Village Roadshow has been great. The studios were great. Um, the tank was, was really, you could be told that it's going to work and be well operational, but it really was. Um, and also just lifestyle. You know, you have a, a little bit of time off, and there are great restaurants here, and the beaches are beautiful. So I, I don't know. It's, it's really hard to complain, and I can complain pretty easily. <laughs> It's been really easy to get around the, um, you know, a lot of times you hear the locals say the traffic is bad. Again, living in LA, it's, it's, it, that it's worse, it's very mild. So um, getting to Brisbane has been really simple. We're, we've shot all over um, Queensland and whether it's going to the stages or Brisbane or Archer Field or some of these other smaller uh, towns that we've had to go to, it's, it's been really, really terrific. It's really been a, a top-notch experience for us. I have, I have no complaints and for being this far away, it's, it will be hard to leave. Um, after my experience on Narnia, which was a tremendous experience, I uh, found it very easy to segue into coming onto this one uh, because I knew a lot of the players who were in the government. Um, and when we first came to Queensland, it was a um, it was a, a great experience to be able to meet them all again and find. Uh, find places for the film to, to do uh, here in Queensland and, and with the studios so close and the big city like Brisbane here it was, um, it was a challenge to find somewhere where we could do San, Fr San Francisco and Los Angeles and when we came up here and basically got the blessing from the uh, council who have been amazing um, they pretty much gave us the keys to the city and said come and, come and do it here and we found it easier to uh, do it here than anyone else, or anywhere else. So, um, no, Brisbane's been uh, wonderful from that perspective. Yes, Screen Queensland um, have been absolutely tremendous to help us with the uh, filming of this. From the minute we brought the script and showed them what we were looking for, they pretty much were all hands on set, uh, on, on deck rather, uh, to uh, lend us a hand. And uh, from the scouts who helped us initially, all the way through to the management. It's been a really, really wonderful experience. There isn't anywhere really in Australia like 
uh, the studios here on the Gold Coast because of the water tank and the, the quality of the stages. I mean, they really are proper stages and they were built for filming. Um, and they're, they're uh, very, very easy to get to. The accessibility to accommodation on the Gold Coast is wonderful. Uh, we have back lots and we have uh, everything around that we needed for this film. Um, and no, I thoroughly recommend, uh, you know, filming in, uh, in the Gold Coast is a tremendous experience also. You can't fault the crew here. They're, they're as professional as anywhere you go in the world. So it's, the, the, it's you know, most of them, most have been filming a lot of the big jobs here, uh, as well as down to the smaller things. Uh, so there's a, a huge wealth of experience. Waking up on a Saturday morning when we're not filming and taking a walk on the beach or coming up to Brisbane here where there's lots of cultural things to see and, and lovely restaurants. No, it's been really, really good. Well, there's certainly challenges when you're in a big city and you're shutting pretty much the center of it down. Um, but with the planning and my, uh, my trusty helpers, um, it's been very, very uh, easy. I mean, the, the council have been fantastic here in Brisbane and they pretty much gave us the keys to the city and said, you know, within reason you can do whatever you like. And to match it for San Francisco and Los Angeles was actually relatively easy because we were allowed to do anything from changing the um, traffic lights, all the signage, cars swapping around the wrong way. The, um, you know, there's a lot of challenges that you've got to um, you get over, but it, it's, it's actually um, a really, really easy place to, to do it. But yeah, no, it's been, it's been great. Yeah, we were doing the scene with um, the, initial, the initial shots where we had the um, best way to describe it is the shocks in San Francisco as the crowds were heading off to the, um, the Golden Gate Bridge. And that was our biggest scene last weekend where we had them all running with 300 extras running down the road um, in one direction and then set and then head off again. So they were pretty exhausted lot, but they did a good job. We've had, we've had pretty much every location in the film bar the, uh, the establishing shots in San Francisco. We're not doing the stadium here. Um, and we're not doing uh, the San Francisco, a lot of the San Francisco work here for obvious reasons. Um, but all the sets in the studios uh, are coming to a close. The tank work has been fantastic. Um, built a massive set, uh, the gate in the, in the tank, uh, which not only goes up, some, up and down, but also rocks, um, floods with water. It's been, I think for the crew, that was quite a, quite a challenge. Um, we've been filming um, Caltech University. We're gonna be filming next week here. Uh, the ones we've got less to, left are uh, the opening sequence with a car rolling down the canyon. That's going to be done in a quarry nearby. Uh, and what else is left? We've got the underground car park. Uh, we're going to be filming on Monday. And today we're filming in the Riddick building. So we've got the evacuation scene out of that before they head off into the streets. We did rural roads in Gatton, which is not far from here, probably about two hours. That was our furthest location. Um, We've shot scenes in the mall, where Kalinga Mall, which had the helicopter crash in it. And that was done down south of the Gold Coast um, in a place called The Pines, Banoa. Um, and we've been filming in um, the large mansion with Ray coming to pick up his daughter. Um, that was done on the Gold Coast also. There's been a variety of smaller ones as well. Yeah, yes, care flight. Um, we came to Queensland and we were looking for a particular aircraft, the Bell 412. Uh, and when we discovered that Careflight in Queensland uses predominantly Bell helicopters, they pretty much, again, like the city of Brisbane, opened their doors and, and said, you're welcome to come and use one of our helicopters. Um, and from the very onset of those guys, we can't thank them enough for everything they did for us because they were absolutely amazing. They literally gave us everything we needed and more. And if we couldn't find something, uh, they would find it for us. And yeah, a special thanks to Careflight on this film. Um, without them, um, I think it would have been a very different looking show. So uh, no, tremendous work.